Yeah, my name's James Pashley. I'm the head of faculty for horticulture, wine, forestry and arboriculture, foundation learning, and the grounds and gardens as well. There's been a horticultural training centre here for a, uh, more than 30 years. Um, it did belong to Brighton Council, and that's where they trained up all their apprentices. After that, City College in Brighton took it over. And about eight years ago, Plumpton College took over the site from City College. And it was a horticultural training centre with glass houses, small number of glass houses, a small number of polytunnels and some classroom facilities and some plots. This opportunity presented itself to us um, to move into the wall garden at Stanmer Park. Um, for me personally, about five years ago, I know Brighton and Hove have been working on it for a lot longer than that, but from Plumpton College's point of view, about five years. We started looking at the walled garden in its entirety with its municipal glass and thinking if we want to have a sustainable site here where members of the general public are going to come back, where it's going to enrich the horticultural education of our students, what we decided on was to tear up the plans that were there and to have a destination garden open to the general public that's of the highest horticultural quality. So there are going to be gardens open to the general public, which are formal gardens, uh, segmented by hedges where there'll be surprises coming around the corner for everybody. And then as well as the, as well as the ornamental side, we've got production glass houses here. We're going to be looking at bringing robotics into the glass houses, artificially intelligent robots as well, um, as well as that hydroponic setups. So to showcase to our students and actually the wider horticultural industry cutting edge skills and the plan is that actually they can train here in this horticultural centre of excellence. The beauty of this is as well, as it's open to the general public, that there's going to be a restaurant here, there's going to be a farm shop, there's going to be plant sales here. So as well as having an ornamental destination garden, what we've also got is a commercial entity. And what better way to get our students ready for the next century with all of this than getting them immersed in, one, the production of the plants, two, planting out in the gardens, three, them selling the plants to the general public, and four, the best showcase of technology that we've got in the southeast of England for horticulture. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal.